A growing number of Metro Detroit communities are embracing No Mow May. And that's where homeowners are allowed to let their grass grow for the entire month without facing a penalty. Ann Arbor was one of the first communities to adopt the program. Royal Oak recently joined the effort, and the city of Ferndale is the latest community to let you skip the lawnmower until June. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham has more on the environmental impact. Come the month of May, you will see and hear less of this in the city of Ferndale, if the city has its way. During the first couple of months of the year, I probably mow about every week and a half. The grass grows that much. Starting Monday and for the next four plus weeks, Stan Williams can let his lawn grow wild for no mow May. The sign is up in Mark and Tina Glossfinnell's front yard after signing up with the city. It's not simply trying to save some time and money on mowing your lawn. We're just happy to be a part of anything Ferndale has to offer when it helps. So what is No Mow May all about? Other cities like Ann Arbor and Royal Oak have a similar program. No Mow May is a uh, conservation initiative that supports sustainability, especially in urban environments. Claire Dion says it's good for insects, birds, and a host of pollinators. As the Zero Waste Program Coordinator for the City of Ferndale, she oversees the program and says so far, 340 residents have registered. By not mowing in May, that increases the flowers available to pollinators and it helps ensure they're more likely to survive. Professor Elizabeth Tibbetts, who teaches ecology and evolutionary biology at the University of Michigan, says by reducing mowing, it gives insects more places to live and more food for them to eat. You wouldn't do well eating just the same food, one food all day. And in insects don't do well with that either. So grass is not a very rich environment. But if there are more little plants and weeds growing in there, the insects are much happier. As they have additional leisure time for not mowing during the month of May, um, we want to encourage people to plant more native plants and really support um, pollinators by adding native plants to their, to their yard. The city says if you're not participating, to please refrain from reporting overgrown grass to code enforcement. However, enforcement standards will resume in June. In Ferndale, Darren Cunningham, 7th Action News.